Dear learners, welcome to 10 minutes lectures in computer science. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about normalization of unnormalized tables into first normal form. A database table can be created in different ways. For example, we can use a model, data model to design a database or we can collect the data entry form and we can convert them into a table. In the case of uh, database design using ER model, the data is collected and modeled as a database using ER diagram in entity relationship model. The reduction rules can be applied on the diagram to convert that into a set of conceptual schemas, something like this. Or in the second case, we can take the data entry form. In this example, the invoice with data can be converted into a table with data like this. In both the cases, the resultant table need to be normalized. In the first case, the tables created will be in first normal form. But in the second case, we may need to apply the rules to convert them into one enough. First normal form. The property for a table to be in one enough, we expect a relation to have only atomic attributes. That is, the values stored in every record of each of these attributes must be indivisible further into multiple values. The tables with repeating groups of values or multi-valued attributes are referred to as unnormalized tables. By the term repeating group, we refer to an attribute or group of attributes within a table that has multiple values for a single record. So in order to have a table to be normalized in 1NF, we need to eliminate these group of attributes or multi-valued attributes. In this example, the attribute contact number is a multi-valued attribute because it has more than one contact number for one or more records. And Due to these multiple values, contact number is a non-atomic attribute. Hence, this table is not in first normal form. In this example, both course number and course name attributes are multi-valued attributes because they have multiple values for one or more records. And hence, they are non-atomic. So due to this, this table also not in one enough. In this example, the attribute attendance is repeating group stored in the form of nested table, that is a table within the table. This nested table stores information about the attendant details like attended or not, the slot, and the date for every student, for every slot, and for every date. Hence, based on the number of classes attended, a student usually have many records. Because of this repeating group of values, the table is not in first normal form. The example tables we have discussed so far are said to be in unnormalized form. So how do we convert those unnormalized relation into the relation in one enough? So we have two options to convert them into first normal form. The first solution is to flatten the table, that is to duplicate a record for every individual value of repeating group attributes. In solution two, it is to create separate table for every repeating group attributes. Let us discuss about the first approach, flattening the table. In this table, the third record, the record of student Stanley, he has two contact numbers, 
Now, as per the rule of flatten flattening the table, we repeat the register number, student name, and date of birth values for every contact number. So we don't need to touch the records where we have only one contact number. But for the third record, we repeat the value of register number and others for contact number 4585967412 and for the second contact number as well. So what would be the problem with this approach? The problem here is the key, the primary key gets disturbed. And we need to create a new key for this table. So look at the original table on the left hand side. The register number is the key for this table. But after flattening, the register number cannot be at the key anymore because we have register number of 18 CT1234 is repeated. It comes twice so that it has duplicates. So the table cannot have the register number as the key anymore. This is a problem with flattening the table. The primary key gets disturbed. As per the second approach, we can create a separate table for the multi-valued attribute. So in this approach, we create table for every multi-valued attribute from the original table or for the nested table in the original table by including the key of original table as foreign key into the new table. So see here, the original table, register number, student name, date of birth, or uh, they are all atomic attributes. So only contact number has to be created as a separate table. So if I take contact number alone into the separate table, we cannot relate whose contact number is this. Hence, we include the primary key of base relation, that is original table, as a foreign key into the decomposed table, that is a newly created table. This way, we can decompose a unnormalized table into one and of table. And in this case, you don't have a problem uh, that we discussed as part of the first approach, where the key gets disturbed. Here, we don't have such problems. We have discussed about what is first normal form, what is repeating group of values, how to convert an unnormalized table into one and a half tables. So for further queries, please visit exploredatabase.com. Thank you.